Hey there, sign of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do a reading for you all for your next 48 hours. So thanks for joining me. Um, thanks for likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you have, I appreciate it. And um, we're going to get into this reading. Always we call in your um, spirit guides, your angels, higher self, higher power to get messages that's for the highest timeline for the sign Scorpio. The sign of Scorpio. Highest timeline for Scorpio, please. <laughs> Scrunched up face. Number one, when life gives you lemons from the Southern Oracle, make lemonade, optimism, perseverance, opportunity, time to get creative, which it might be an opportunity to get creative, or coming up with an idea that's just genius. <laughs> All right, this is the Inner Child Oracle. Inner Child Oracle. For Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio? Connect with the cosmos. You got the same thing Cancer did, and I really did shuffle these too. Um, it's talking about how the night sky holds a lot of things um, for us, possibly even codes uh, out there in the night sky. It's ta talking to connect with the cosmos by studying um, astrology or astronomy too. So studying, self-teaching, um, something like that. Connecting with the cosmos. Let's get something from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. I'm filling this deck for you, Scorpio. That is a truck. <laughs> it just passed. Wisdom of the Oracle. Wisdom of the Oracle. You're at a fork in the road. You're at a fork in the road. Scorpio, this could be like crossroads, like the lover's card sometimes indicates. You're at a, so at a fork in the road. Meaning any one little decision could even have a very, very big impact on where you go from this point on. Surrender, the power to surrender deck. For Scorpio. Surrender your need to always be right. Give others a gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and it will improve your relationships. All right, so let's get into the tarot and see what it has to say. What's the situation for Scorpios? What's the situation for Scorpios? Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Interesting. It's like the same message. Um, choices and consequences. Um, taking a time to contemplate on one, whether something's worth it or not, or if it was worth it or not. Making a very educated decision before this fork in the road, as Seven of Pentacles might be that you've planted some seeds, but you're at a fork in the road, so now there's a major decision during a time of waiting and having patience. Okay, the um, challenge. What's the challenge about for Scorpio? What's their challenge about forgiveness? Letting go of harsh judgments of yourself and others. Um, yeah, laying down, uh, letting go of resentment, anger, or any kind of emotion that's not saving space for something positive in your life. So, it could be an announcement, like waiting to make an announcement, too. Okay, the heart of the matter, or at the root of this reading, the heart of the matter. Or Scorpio, the Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sag. It could be somebody, um, or this can just be the energy that's like, okay, we need to be bold. We need to be daring. We need to share our gifts with the Queen of Wands. Usually a very intuitive, psychic person, attractive, um, bold, daring, able to um, make money from her skills, but also sharing skills. The sun here illuminating what is. What is divine, what is not, illuminating everything on your path. 
and shedding that divine uh, blessing on things. So it's a really, really good positive card with the sun. Good things. Okay, the now moment for Scorpio in the now moment. In Scorpio's now moment, we have the world. Be bold and daring because there's a need to um, start a new chapter in your life where things are a little bit different. They're on an elevated level, so higher vibration experiences. This could be about world travel, too, for some people that would like to travel. If they're deciding on that, to be bold and daring and do something like that. It could be Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo that are connected to that. That could be Sagittarius, Leo, Leo, Aries, Sag. So the near future energy for you, Scorpio, is strength card. Mustering up the strength to do and create, I feel like create what you want to create. With the eight there, infinite creation, having the strength, could be a Leo. You've got Leo energy on both sides of you, Scorpios. How do you feel? Not like yourself or resistant. Maybe not as bold or daring as Spirit is wanting you to be. Not So feeling not as bold or daring as they're wanting you to be. Feeling like it's hard to end a situation or to get closure on a situation. Okay. This might be the Queen of Pentacles. It could be like this or like this in your surrounding. I think it's like this because I think change is indicated, necessary, to improve the way that you use your resources or your situation um how you're living life the luxuries you have what you don't what you do you know what i mean how you want to live life so i think that is what that is about transformation here but the transformation is slow um the hope or fear and the hopes or fear spot for scorpio for scorpio is the hanged one waiting have patience while you're waiting maybe that's a fear is, is waiting on divine timing or feeling like you've sacrificed a lot so virgo energy with the waiting oh and sometimes um some of you have experienced heartache or loss with this waiting um that might be something that we fear is a third party situation um or just loss or heartache I mean, waiting and and loss possible. That's a, always, it's in your fears. It's not something that's actually showing up. The only fear that's showing up here is the um, inability to get closure or to close out a cycle. Okay, the outcome for Scorpios. This is the chariot, heart of cancer. Right across the hanged one, the strength the death in reverse, queen of pentacle in reverse, and the queen of wands. It's connecting all of this because it ensures success and it ensures a, getting away from some of the heavier energy. It ensures going um, on an elevated journey. This could indicate travel for some people. Two cards that indicate travel here. And this is four of wands could be placing roots down. Um, it, it's a celebration. So you'll participate in celebration in milestones met. You're coming to the fork in the road at a milestone met. You do have insured success, kind of like no matter what you choose here. All right, so let's get you, um, let's get you some cards from the little, little oracles, the fairy deck, fairy dust. Four leaf clover, that's good. You have found a four leaf clover. Unlucky times will soon be over. Nice. And the dream totems, or Scorpio, dream totems. Foolishness, you are worried that by letting go of your frustration, which is what that is doing, this judgment, people who will perceive they have won 
but there's a need to uh, surrender being right, right? It says the only one suffering is you. Breathe. Take a few deep breaths and accept some things just don't make sense. Soon enough, everyone will come to their senses and see things as they are. Bravery is on the bottom of the deck. And your tea leaf is dog barking, advice from a friend, casket, someone going out of your life, or the end of a situation. It's the one that's resistant. And teardrops, great personal sorrow here. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Sending you love and light. Bye.